Hello everyone, Alma here in my tiny house kitchen. Just wanted to uh, show you how I do things here at the uh, Winnebago. So I'm making burritos. Toasting some tortillas, and then I'm going to scramble some eggs and put some egg and cheese in these burritos for my kids, because that's what I do. have a taco or a burrito without a toasted tortilla or warm tortilla because it's just not the same. Rising up, the falling down. I should have stopped, but I do not know how. Just for now, let's make things right. Love so far, or at least we have tried. You've got your truth. And I got mine, so what do you use of blowing my mind? So <laughs> That's not gonna work very well. That's funny. Okay. Almost lost the camera on that one. What the heck? See my dirty dishes in my sink? And I hate dishes. Anyone else hate dishes? I hate dishes. So what I was trying to say is pulling the door open. It's where my garbage is in here and I'm holding the camera up with my my cabinet door. So after we do this, um, I'll tell you in just a second. So after we eat lunch today, we're gonna be going to Phoenix Crypto's house to finish his raised bed garden and I think we might get more dirt today and plant. I'm pretty excited about this. I love helping my Liberty friends grow food because what if all hell breaks loose or the economy collapses or I don't know, the government shuts down, which I already assume it did. Uh, you know, you gotta grow your own food. And if you happen to get stuck in the valley with the rest of the zombies, you're probably going to want to hide and then, you know, figure out a way to live here or get the heck out. So, you know, either way, you got to be prepared for whatever's to come. And if you're depending on your food source to come from the grocery stores at this point, I would just think again about that because, first of all, everything is sprayed with pesticides, most of it. If it's not sprayed at the farmers, at the farms, nice, hurt that one a little bit. If it's not sprayed at the farms, then it's sprayed by the chemtrails, whatever they're doing with that. You know, maybe they are cloud seeding, maybe all of this random lettuce, or not lettuce, but uh, wild arugula is actually, uh, I don't know, you know, cloud seeded, like, it could be GMO arugula, I have no idea. It could be seeded, cloud seeded, literally cloud seeded, and then to mess with our like pollination of our other plants. I have no idea what they're doing. This shit's crazy. What are they doing? People should ask because when I was a child, they didn't spray like this. Now they spray everywhere. Um, tangent. Like, rarely ever do I finish a complete thought as a mother. And maybe I was always like this, but since I became a mother, I rarely finish a complete thought. It's very random stories. Like, I can't even finish a story in my own head without jumping to something else and then coming back to it way later, which I eventually do, but it's frustrating to some people. Yeah, tortillas are just not as good when they're not cooked. So, that's what we're doing today. 
making lunch. Then we're going to go do some gardening. And uh, that's our unschooling day. We might do some work on our letters and stuff too. So we'll see. Anyway, that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoy. Peace. Oh yeah. If you like this video, send me some Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash or Ethereum or, you know, whatever. I'm creating content while I do all this and uh, appreciate the uh, compensation for the work I create here at home with my kids. Um, also, if you know anybody who is looking to get a garden started in Arizona, please send them to my Instagram at azdreamgarden. And if you are looking for anarchy love, I will match make you. I'll create a profile for you, privately or publicly, your choice and I will match make you. So you can find me on at Anarchy is for Lovers on Instagram as well. And of course, at Earth Permit, that's my personal Instagram. All right, be free y'all. Can you see that? Vote for nobody. A vote for nobody is a vote for everybody. <laughs>
consciousness. He raises people's consciousness. Raise people's consciousness. That's what he says in his videos, and he's on YouTube. He's super cool, and I really, really like what he is talking about as well. And he has helped me learn how to break some of these old thought patterns, these old processes. Uh, you know, for example, towards the end of my relationship with Brian, especially the last two years, arguments were in this revolution, which is not an evolution. A revolution is a continuous circle. And we weren't able to break free of these cycles. And so they continued and things dissolved. So it is really important to deal with basically your mental health. <laughs> <clears throat> because we have received all sorts of mental health issues from both our mothers, our fathers, the stories we tell ourselves, uh, the things that happen to us rather than for us, or if we think they happen to us, we become a victim of that situation. Uh-oh, I got a baby crying. Final product. <laughs>